Now that Donald Trump won the Iowa caucus, it seems like he's thrilled for what the future holds. Trump's on top of the world right now. Everyone at his private club, Mar-a-Lago, is already treating him like he's the president in Florida, an insider dished to a news outlet. The source added he's totally convinced he's on the path to winning the presidency again. He's very upbeat. He's elated. He's already predicting a landslide in the entire country to aides and friends. Even though the 77-year-old former president made a few appearances amid his court battles this week at the E. Jean Carroll civil defamation trial, in addition to giving a speech at his civil fraud trial, he isn't letting his legal woes get the best of him. Earlier this week, the businessman fumed after the judge overseeing his E. Jean Carroll trial refused to let him delay the trial as he insisted he needed to attend his wife's late mother's funeral. As you know, the first lady's mother passed away. The funeral is tomorrow, Trump said Wednesday, January 17th, during a press conference in New York City. And we would have assumed that for a trial like this, it's not an emergency in terms of timing, the judge would have been very nice, and they would let me go because I want to be at every trial day because I saw what happened in the first one, where I was asked not to go by the lawyers very much. They said it's demeaning, there was no evidence, there was no anything, and so I didn't go, and I understood exactly what he meant when he said it was demeaning. There was no reason to go and you shouldn't go. Trump then called the judge a radical Trump hater. So it happened very terribly as we asked to just delay the trial for one day so I could go to the funeral tomorrow, and then we could start Friday or Monday or any time they want," he continued. And he said, absolutely not, the trial will go on just as it is. The judge apparently told Trump, you can go to the funeral or you can go to the trial, but you can't do both. I thought it was terrible. I thought it was terrible, Trump continued. So he would rather have me miss the funeral or go to the funeral and miss the trial. That's a nasty man. He's a nasty judge. He's a Trump-hating guy. And it's obvious to everybody in the court it's a disgrace, frankly, what's happening. It's a disgrace. Trump was then spotted with his wife and family at the funeral in Florida, and after Melania, 53, takes time to grieve, she will appear with Donald at key moments, the insider dished. She wants to make meaningful appearances, not make routine campaign stops which his sons, Eric and Don Jr. do, they explained. Page 6 spoke to the source,